everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Natalia and I'm your vocal coach. Uh, and I help people like you to transform their voices and their life along the way. And I'm also a professional crossover singer. Now, Katrina Velarde, I mean, I, I can't talk enough about this amazing, amazing woman and singer. But I was very intrigued by your suggestions and uh, you really want me to react to reflections, reflection from Mulan, which originally Christina Aguilera sang. So I would love to see what she did with this beautiful song and what kind of Katrina Velarde magic she put on it. Uh, before we're gonna start it, just making sure you're part of the family by clicking the subscribe and clicking the bell. So every time you want me to react to one of your videos or your suggestions, you know when it's up. And also if you want to elevate yourself and get your voice to the next level, I give you a free vocal training on my on my the link below <laughs> so just click the link and we'll direct you to my free vocal training um and with that guys let's start reacting It's as if I play a part Now I see If I wear a mask I can fool the world But I cannot fool my heart Such a good light Oh, it's that girl I see Staring straight But somehow yeah. I will show the world what's inside my heart and be loved for who I am. Oh. My dear, my dear, 
My dear, Katrina, my love, listen, you are the Mulan. You are the Mulan. I'm sorry, Christina Aguilera, I love you. <laughs> but now that I hear it from Katrina, this song has such a different meaning to me. I don't know why. Um, it's just so free, it's so open and so clean, but at the same time so rich. You see what I'm saying? Um, and it's obviously very, very expressive, which again, Katrina has this magical way to bring so much passion, but still very effortless way of doing it. And looking at her, this time I was really looking, especially when she's going to the modulations and she's going higher in chest position and higher, higher and higher. Those places, she just kept it so open and so vocal aligned um, that it was so nice to see. And when she's not, she was still delivering, but she wasn't forcing it. She wasn't trying to get higher. You see what I'm saying? And it's very interesting. I was actually doing it in my vocal training um, that I was uh, teaching for free in my Facebook group. Um, and we actually talked about it today. And the thing that we talked about it is vocal vowel alignment and why it's so important. All the great singers of the world, whoever you consider, but the one that are considered to be the greatest singers of the world, Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, uh, Mariah Carey. Uh, but I'm talking about the healthier singing that still they now sing and they performing. And Celine Dion is definitely one of them. And Katrina Velarde definitely follows that rule as well, is vowel alignment. And the reason why it's so important, think about it. If she would sing, just, just watch her. Did you ever see her closing her mouth and singing? Or she was changing too much of her mouth from the vowels of a, e, e, o, u. Did you see a lot of movement in their, in their mouth? I, most of the time I saw her really open her mouth and keep it aligned. So every time she sang a different word, a different anything, she would still keep those vowels aligned by not moving the mouth too much and not closing her open throat um, and kind of let the air and the resonance coming out of her in a very easy way. She wasn't separating the notes, meaning she kept everything legato. And in the beginning, I really loved how she really connected the senses, sentences and uh, uh, the phrasing of the sounds and the music so connected. That was very, very beautiful to see and she kept it also in the high notes. And that's what's important thing. When you sing those higher notes and it gets tougher and higher and more challenging to sing, you have to actually relax more. You have to be free more. You have to let the resonating chambers and the frequencies do what they need to do and not disturb it, right? So this is the magic. And if you get over and anxious and you're trying to push it and you're trying to make it and you're trying to shove your voice in the higher sound, all you're gonna get is very tense and very painful sound, not only for you to sing, but for those who are listening and it doesn't sound as rich and as colorful and full of beautiful frequencies and overtones that we really want. And that was so, so beautiful to watch and see. I mean, Katrina, I love you so much. I wanna see what other people say. Uh, Philip says, thank you for taking my breath away, Katrina, blessing Philip. Congratulations, one billion views two weeks ago. That's, that's a very big accomplishment. Uh, somebody says, hello, hi, that's their name. Says, your manager should at least do his or her job even better than expected of him or her. He, her, this talent should and must not be seen in a small scale. It should have brought you places already if your manager doing his job, signing up to bigger recording companies. I never like any singer as how I currently am towards you and been following your journey. This is exciting to hear. This is beautiful to hear. So listen to this. Things are changing. And um, manager is manager, but sometimes, you know, as a mom, and I'm sure she is, maybe she doesn't want to travel the world and she wants to be more at home or be with her family. You never know what the personal life is and what the situation is. Uh, but there's what I want to really emphasize enough. There's not only one way to be a singer. 
if you are not on MTV and you perform worldwide and you did it, doesn't mean that you are successful or you're not successful. There's so many different ways you can have your art out there and you can actually make a living out of it and be happy. And everybody has a different way of what they want to do and how they want to live their life on a daily basis. When I started my career, I thought that I want to be um, an opera singer, like a real legit professional opera singer. And But the more I did it for 10 years and you know traveling and this and that and there's so much into it that I saw myself not really enjoying and it took the passion and the kind of the happiness for me and it kind of didn't I didn't want to sing and I found what works for me and we're so lucky to live in this today's world where we have this we have YouTube we have Facebook we have social media we have people we can connect to from around the world and it's all about being creative and find the outlet that works for you and express your art and find the audience that would enjoy that um, and there's so many ways you can make money out of it um, in a obviously in a legit way so last one me says Disney must recognize this one I agree because I, I think she'll be a perfect Mulan. First of all, I love her haircut. This is it. I love how she's so versatile with her uh, looks. Uh, and it's just so amazing. And she's the perfect Disney singer. Am I wrong? I mean, such an angelic, powerful, soulful, sweet sound she has. Um, very, very special you know, texture she has for her voice. So I think she definitely needs to be um, presenting uh, and representing uh, not herself but a character in Disney so that is that for today guys I hope you enjoyed this reaction if you did I would really appreciate if you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you get more videos like this one and if you have anybody you want me to react to next Katarina Velade singing something different or maybe one of your performances don't be shy I'm always here to support and cheer you on and we're all doing it in a loving, most supportive way possible because this is what the Italian music family is all about. We are supporting one another here. No room for hate. Uh, so if you guys like this, go ahead and also subscribe. And if you want to be part of a free vocal training, go and click the link below. All the information is there. And um, yeah, until then, I'll see you next time. Have an amazing one, guys. Don't stop dreaming and singing. Love you.